Holy jeez, sorry about leaving like that. I was just so mind blown. I mean, I've been asking that question ever since I picked up this game. All these cards I read. It's like, put this unit into your soul. What the heck does that mean? I just couldn't figure it out. Every single card, choose a grade two or a greater card from your hand and put it into your soul. What did that mean? And I finally figured it out in that last episode. Finally, it was the most mind blowing thing. Let's see what's in this deck. Definitely absolutely bothering me the whole time. I was like, what does that mean? But I figured it out. Now let's uh, see what uh, trial deck number 12, Flower Princess for the Neo Nectar. Card Fight Vanguard G, trial deck 12, Neo Nectar, Flower Princess of Abundant Blossoming. What is Card Fight Vanguard G? We read this. Is it exactly the same? Yeah, that's the same. One Neo Nectar. Characteristics of the Neo Nectar Clan. Was that on the other one? What's that? Is that new? Yeah, now they must show tips. That's new. That's pretty cool. So now they actually tell you about the decks. Neat. Uh, characteristics of the Neo Nectar Clan. Zoo, the green land of abundant freedom. Neo Nectar is a clan of intelligent species of flora that manage the food supplies and reside in the vast forests of Cray. Having the ability to increase the number of allies, they are exceptionally exceptional at calling units to battle, like the way flowers blossom. Wow, that's pretty cool. And we get a illustrated postcard. So that's pretty neat. It looks like they put a postcard in this one for the Vanguard. That's Kronos. Kronos from the main series. I started watching a bit of the Vanguard G. You could call first guide again, and then another play mat. Wonder if this one's going to be any different. If it's pretty much the same, I'm not going to go through it again. You could uh, set up the play mat. That would work. There wasn't any booster packs in this one. They don't give you a booster pack anymore. Things changed. This one's green. Yeah, maybe we'll actually look at the back this time. There's a whole bunch of cool artwork on the back. It's pretty sweet. Flower Princess. And it shows a bunch of the cards in here. Wow. Yeah, maybe it shows tips or something. It shows keys to a vanguard fight. What did the other one show? Yeah, I guess maybe it showed tips or something. Showed you extra information about the characters. Cool. And then, uh, some more stuff on the side. Sweet. Yeah, let's just maybe set this up and then uh, see what uh, this deck looks like. So, uh, yeah, first thing I noticed is, uh, this. This card, not sure what it is. Card by Vanguard G, 2016. So this is a pretty new deck then. The back doesn't say Card Fight Vanguard on it. Yeah, so then we got some uh, level zero, some uh, draw triggers. One, two, two draw triggers. Four heal triggers. Maybe I'll show the cards here first. One, two, three. Four heal triggers. One, two, two stand triggers. Two, three, four draw triggers. There. Well, these are draw as well. Okay, so maybe it's not limited. Maybe you don't have to have a four, four of each of them. Is there more than 16 in here? You got four critical triggers. Two, three, four, five, six, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, I guess that is sixteen. Then here would be your starting zero unit then. The X doesn't have any trigger and that'd be zero. That'd be the unit that you start with, I guess. And then here's the level one units. Level, uh, level one. So let's see how many uh, level one units are in this deck here. Six. 
water and everything yeah definitely artwork is definitely a lot better on this one the trial deck number one was probably when they first started they didn't even have backgrounds in their cards wow those were really old i guess i don't know what year those were from then now the level two units one two it's be interesting to see what the differences are anyways then i'll be able to kind of learn a bit more about the rules how the decks differ three four so a lot of two cost units <clears throat> And here's the three cost units, so those are going to come out on turn three at least, then I, I imagine. I mean, as long as you have it in your hand. <clears throat> yeah, these ones do definitely look cool, I'm pretty sure. Even in my, my collection, I don't have them. And then here's the G units, so these don't even start in your deck. These start up here. Okay, and there's other G units. So I got this one. It's pretty cool. So they give you four... G and it's for two different ones. And then this one says something on it too. Okay. House flower of Flower of your heart bloom. Cool. So they give you a foil stamp one. A starter deck. That's really neat. Sweet. So we have uh <clears throat> four level four units, so let's clean this up a bit. There we go, so we got them uh, sorted out a little bit here. I think the light's going to get in the way with the sleeves, I guess. Huh. How's that going to work then? There we go. Hmm. We can just go in there. Alright, so yeah, it's a little bit different. Cause the other deck, it had uh, four heals, four, four draw, four critical, and four stand. But this one has... Uh, six seven draw and four critical and two stand so i guess maybe you could mix and match those any way that you want is that true you don't have to stick to four so you just need uh 16 triggers with four heal triggers maybe and then uh the g units i just had two of them actually the other one was a level three and here's the unit that you start with i guess so we have a four runner maybe yeah four runner ability every unit of this rides this unit you may move it to the rare and then the act abilities we actually know what the act abilities do you know what those are and the shield so you play the card from your hand and the level one everything else is exactly the same go one two three four five six ten fourteen level ones we got four sentinels in the deck this time then there's uh eleven level twos and then eight level threes so i guess maybe that's uh how you make the deck Just have your 16 level zero trigger units and then the one level zero with no trigger and then the 14 yeah 14 so 16 14 8 <clears throat> 11 i'm screwing up on everything i should just write it down here there we go. I'm sorry. I'm just uh, so <laughs> so confused reading all these and then counting all them and everything. So card fight deck, 50 cards, 16 trigger units. So I need 16 grade zero, 16 of those, anything, probably four heal units. And then a one grade zero vanguard, probably without a trigger. That's going to be your starting vanguard. Then 14 grade one units. Out, uh, that's what was in both of the decks. Both of them had exactly these cards. Then 11 grade 2 units. Then 8 grade 3 units. Then up to 8 G units. Is that right? It says right here I was reading. Place up to 8 cards uh, face down here at the start of the fight. And these are your uh, G unit piles. Place your face up G units. G zone. Yeah, so that's what I'm gathering. You can have up to 8 G units in a deck. Grade 4. Maybe there's a limit to four of them, but it's now that I pretty much read the O's, the book, it was exactly the same. I'm just going to double check here. Both of the guides are exactly the same. Both say version 4.03, version 4.03, so maybe the uh, difference is using the new ability that I pretty much just left because I was so dumbfounded when I found out how to put cards into my soul finally. So we'll probably need to know that later, but you don't really need to know that for now, I guess. So 
now I could actually uh, actually look at my cards and actually uh, know how to make decks out of them. I actually know what the abilities do. I learned about all the auto abilities. I learned what they are. So now they all make sense now. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> now maybe I could... Uh, I'm not really sure. Maybe I could make some decks. Or I could open these deck boxes. One of the things. Pretty much open those. I learned everything about the game. That's really good. Now I could uh, make any deck that I want.